Thousands of you voted in our very first Voice of the Fan for week one of the NFL season. The question this week was, of all of those impressive performances in week one of the NFL season, which one was the most surprising? And Kevin and I took the time to tally up the votes, so now I think we'll go ahead and reveal the results. Coming in at number six, this is the least amount of votes on the list. It was Randall Cobb, who had nine receptions and a 75-yard punt return. People weren't very surprised. He only got 5% of the votes. In fifth place, with only 7%, Peyton Manning for that wonderful performance after taking a year off, that 129.2 quarterback rating. People weren't very surprised by Cobb and Manning's performances in week one. Well, I think we saw flashes from Cobb last year. Remember, he took the kickoff back for a touchdown in week one last season as a rookie. All summer long, he's looked great in camp, looked good in the preseason. I think people were ready for him to really explode on the scene. We've seen what he can do on special teams. For Manning, same thing. In the preseason, we saw what he was able to do. You look at the preseason game, against San Francisco where he threw a couple scores. We knew he was back and he was ready. We just had to see it on the field. So I think people were kind of impressed with him, but not so much surprised with Manning. People weren't as surprised with Steven Ridley either who comes in at number four on our list. Only 9% of the votes even though he had 125 yards rushing in that Patriots offense. At number three, Mark Sanchez who really surprised me. Three touchdowns, a great quarterback rating. 19% of the votes. He comes in at number three on the list, Kevin. Yeah, well looking at Ridley, uh, kind of like we talked about with Cobb and Manning, the talk all summer was Stephen really is going to take over a Patriots run offense that's going to be more efficient and it's going to have more carries with Josh McDaniels there. I think the number of yards he got maybe surprised some people. When it comes to Mark Sanchez, when you look at that game, it was probably more surprising that the Bills defensive line was so bad. Not so much. We've seen this from Sanchez. Jets fans might want to ignore it, but we've seen how good he can be when he was like that on Sunday. Of course, one of the stipulations for the voting was the impressive performances that were surprising. I think the Bills defense might have been the most surprising overall. Kevin Ogletree comes in at number two on the list of votes this week at 24%. And that leaves Robert Griffin III, the winner of our Voice of the Fan poll. 36% of you thought that he had the most surprising week one performance. Yeah, well, I think what makes RG3 so impressive and was the fact that he was a rookie week one and all the numbers he put up. What surprised people is the way he did it in New Orleans, in the Superdome, against the Saints, a Saints team that everyone is picking to win the division, even with everything that's gone on with them this offseason. And he walked in there like a seasoned veteran. You know, we expected him to have a good career, a good rookie season. I don't think anybody expected those type of numbers in his first week. Lots of surprises in week one of the NFL season as the season carries on. We'll see which of these players can put up a performance like this on a week-by-week -week basis. That's our week one Voice of the Fan segment for our week two. Check us out next Tuesday where we'll present the question for you. Cast your votes all through next week at ProFootballWeekly.com, YouTube.com slash ProFootballWeekly, and by sending us your vote on Twitter.